Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm very excited to show you a brand new method for sideloading applications on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So in front of us here, we have Genshin Impact running in the widescreen aspect ratio with full keyboard and mouse support. And this is something that people thought was going to be completely impossible. And that's because since macOS 11.2.3, Apple seems to have kind of gone out of its way to allow developers to block the sideloading of their apps. And it just seemed like this entire sideloading idea was just gonna be dead in the water. But thankfully this user, iVoider, has recently created this Reddit post introducing PlayCover, which is the software that makes this sideloading possible. So not only are we able to sideload applications on the latest version of Big Sur, also on the beta of Monterey. We're also able to do things like decrypt applications from iMazing or the Apple Configurator 2. And this is going to replace the previous method of being able to decrypt apps, which required a jailbroken iPhone or iPad in order to decrypt the application. And this is going to be completely replaced by PlayCover, which would be able to decrypt the app directly on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Not only this, but iVoider is also planning to introduce Intel support. So this is going to be the first time that Intel Macs are going to have full support for iOS applications. This is quite surprising because one of the unique selling points of the M1 chip was the ability to natively play apps. So I would really look forward to seeing what the performance will be like for Intel Macs running iOS apps and also more demanding mobile applications and games too. So what I'd like to do now is to run through a brief tutorial on how to get PlayCover running. However, my main warning about this is that this is an extreme alpha build of this software. And the developer iVoider is basically creating new nightly builds virtually every day. So even at the time of recording, this particular tutorial is basically gonna be out of date straight away. This is more of a kind of a demonstration of how easy it is to work. And also most of the issues that I'm gonna be working around today are gonna be fixed by iVoider in the very near future. Also, what I'd like to point out is that I'm gonna be keeping instructions listed on the PlayCover article on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. This is going to contain the latest set of instructions. I'll leave a link to this article in the description. And also a lot of the information is gonna be updated by iVoider themselves. iVoider updates regularly on the Discord server. And also what I'd advise people to do is to throw a little bit of donation money at iVoider. Inside the announcements channel of the Discord server, there is a donation link. This donation link will give access to the supporters exclusive channel. And this is where I received my particular copy of PlayCover, which is the only one which actually works with Genshin Impact at the time of recording. So please make sure to make a donation, get access to the latest, most compatible build, and also support the development of this piece of software. So the version that I'm gonna be testing is 0.3.0, which is the nightly build of this application. So all I'm gonna do is to download this. I'm going to keep the application and then we're going to extract it in my downloads folder. And once I've got this application open, I'm going to move it into my applications folder and replace the version that I've already downloaded. Then I'm going to open up Play Cover. This is not gonna allow us because the app is not signed, so I'm just gonna press cancel here. Minimize this. So I'm gonna minimize all my windows. Then we'll go to system preferences. And if we click on the security and privacy tab, then we'll have an option here. It says Play Cover was blocked. We just going to click open anyway to get past gatekeeper. Press open here. And then I'm going to close that. So this is the play cover interface. So the decryption function isn't quite ready yet for play cover, but it will be one of the features. So the version of Genshin Impact I'm going to be using is a decrypted 2.0 version of the application. So if you do a search for this in the play cover discord, some people have been sharing it through Google Drive links, or you can actually decrypt it yourself. So all I'm going to do is take my Genshin Impact version 2.0.0 IPA, and I'm going to make sure that these uh, options are ticked. So they make full screen and add key mapping and then fix login and games. And then I'm just going to drag this in and let that install. So this is saying that this is successfully completed. Another thing we need to do is to disable system integrity protection. This is just to get past some issues with opening some apps. Uh, I'm told that this is not gonna be necessary later, but this is necessary for this particular version. So all we're gonna do is shut down the computer and then open up in recovery mode. I'm gonna do that now. So to disable SIP, all we have to do is to hold down the power button. Once it's turned off, we hold it down and we continue holding for startup options here. So once that says loading startup options, you can just let go of that. So we're just gonna click on options here and continue. So we're gonna authenticate with one of the users. And then what I'm gonna do is click on utilities and then terminal up here. Then we're gonna type in the command csrutil disable. So I'm gonna allow this to run unprotected. Press yes and then enter. 
type in my username. So this might take a minute or so to actually turn off. Now turn off the computer and then restart. So once we've disabled SIP, the next thing that we need to do in order to get Genshin Impact to log in correctly is to copy and paste this terminal command. So I'll leave a link to this in the play cover article. So we just copy this blue line here and then paste it into terminal and then press enter. And once we do this and we restart the computer, then we'll be met with this long terminal command type interface when the computer reboots, when it's applying these new arguments to the boot process. So once your computer has restarted, all we need to do now is to navigate to the documents folder under the play and cover folder, and then we'll find our app or our Genshin Impact folder, which we can now double click and now launch the game. So what the software really gets right is that we're able to run this kind of widescreen aspect ratio very stably, and we can actually just press the full screen button and it behaves exactly like a standard application. Not like the sideloaded app of the past where it was a four by three aspect ratio, but a proper widescreen aspect ratio. So the first thing that we're really gonna need to do is to set up the remapping of keys because the controller support is not integrated yet and you can't really play this with a mouse. So I've got the full remapping instructions written on the play cover Apple Gaming Wiki article, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Basically what you need to do is to press Control P in order to enable the key map editor to appear. And then you can press Control N or Control J or Control M and then place the hover areas over the appropriate parts of the screen. And then when you press Control P again, it will close that key mapping editor and then you can use the keyboard and mouse to play normally. If you do make a mistake and you add too many of these new zones, what you can do is to open the Control P key mapper again and then select by clicking one of the zones and then pressing Control backspace and that will delete that zone and then just press Control P again to disable the key mapping editor. What I found so far is that it's a little bit buggy at the moment and when you quit the game, it won't actually remember the key mapping fully. Some parts will be lost, but basically this is still an alpha, of course, I'm expecting this to be fixed in the future and for it to become more reliable. So basically this play cover application has opened up an entirely new world of side loading opportunities. No longer will we have to downgrade back to 11.2.3 in order to side load applications. Will it be able to use this particular method and also introduce proper widescreen support for games as well as full keyboard and mouse support? Please make sure to check out the play cover article on the Apple Gaming Wiki website so that you can get the latest instructions. Also, it's really worth joining the play cover Discord server and also throwing the developer a few dollars. I suggest something like 10 or $20 and you'll get access to the latest nightly build and provide some support for a developer that's putting a lot of time and effort into making side loading work and opening up a whole new range of possibilities on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So anyway, I'll be doing some more testing in the future. If you have any requests, please let me know. I am aware that some games like Call of Duty Mobile are not working at the moment. Uh, if you'd like me to test anything else, please let me know. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.